the ultimate team in Star Rail. It's a very interesting concept. So I came home from work today and I threw together every single DPS that prioritizes ultimate damage, except for Argenti. Poor Argenti is gonna have to be on the bench this video, but that means we've got space for Fei Shao and Acheron and Yun Li or sustainly, my apologies. Every single one of these characters, unironically, is gonna be buffed massively by a singular Zhao, and if we look at the debuffs, we don't need any debuffs, because Yun Li is a debuff, Zhao is infinite debuffs, and Akron is E2S1, so, you know, lots of debuffs. Anyways, this team is so amazing. Not really, it's actually quite terrible, but you know what? I think it's a ton of fun. So hit that subscribe button if you would please, that would be amazing. Join the Discord and let's get right into the first fight here. Now I was originally going to do this fight versus a Ventrain, but unfortunately because my Zhao mainly, although Yun Li and Fei Zhao fall into the same category, are locked at E0, I was hitting a little bit of a damage uh, barrier, a wall. I was slamming right into a wall, I could not, could not beat it. So here we're gonna go ahead versus Kafka, very easy boss but you know what this is for fun and this is the best team in the game quite literally it's the ultimate team it has to be the best team now we're gonna wait just suck up a whole bunch of attacks here uh make sure we get as many follow-ups out of the way max out the duran for both yun li and fei Xiao. wonderful and as for the skill points because we lack skill points we do want to keep it safe sometimes so go ahead and pop this ultimate here on akron and then we can go ahead and basic we do want to always skill with Yun Li, however, because she's our healer, so we need to heal her. I'm going to also go ahead and pop this parry right before, so... Go ahead and launch this Colossal Sword right in the face of the enemy. A-bang! So good. Basic again. And then we do have the three characters' turns coming up. I would have preferred Yun Li to actually be the fastest and have Fei Xiao be the slowest, but my relics did not allow it since Yun Li is such a slow base character and Fei Xiao was such a high base character. With speed boots and zero subs, she's 136, I believe. 137, maybe. So what we're going to do here is, because this is not going to kill, uh, we're going to have to unfortunately go ahead and waste a little bit of an attack here. But you know what? Sometimes the black hole is attracted to slivers of HP. Quite nice. Thank you. Now here, we're going to start the Yun Li chain. The best chain. But before that, we're going to go ahead and take this 12 out of 12 down to 6 out of 12. Even though this is going to do not too much damage. But we're still looking good, only being buffed from Zhao, which is great. And his light cone hasn't had the chance to actually activate yet, which is also good. Or not good, that's terrible, but... And now we break. So, we managed to take as much damage as humanly possible without dying. And now we can go ahead and break Kafka to not worry about that damage. And let's see what we can do from here. Another debuff for Acheron? I did want to put Topaz's Light Cone on for this video, but it's not that it's not all that good. Zhao gives so many stacks that that one extra stack you're going to be getting. Well, not one, it is a couple, but it's not worth the damage loss. Might be, if you take Gunli out for another support, though. What am I saying? Yunli is the best support. The best sustain. Go ahead and heal here, and then we can get another ult off versus this enemy, which is great. Now, he is going to do a two-part attack, so we do have to be careful. We could just kill it with Fei Xiao here, but we're going to be safe, because it doesn't do all that much damage. And we're good. Another three characters turn left. We have had another Acheron ult, probably another Fei Xiao ult on top of this one that we're going to use to completely murder this unfortunate... Nihility, Lightning, Dot Enabler, I'm sorry. For Fei Xiao, I put her on the speed boot, so it was that 137 minimum speed, which is quite unfortunate, but you can't do much about it. Now, she had 94 crit rate, a little bit lower than what I would like, because you do won't, don't want to miss any crits, which we did miss a couple, uh, but I did have to share relics with Yun Li, so we did struggle a little bit in that department, but really quickly, look at this, because I think this is absolutely insane absolutely minimum rolls i'm talking two out of three two out of three and the rest of were all one out of three but still kind of crazy to look at i shit myself a little bit when i saw that to be honest now here we're gonna go ahead for the rest of them not too bad not too bad 
Not too bad, and not too bad. So, A0 Fey. As for Acheron, we did have one speed lower, because all of our characters need to be above 134. That's one of the downsides of using Zhao versus a Harmony character, is that we don't get that speed bonus from, like, a Ron May, for example, or a Dance 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 Light Cone. So, she will be going from 74 all the way to a 96% crit rate, which is very good because of the E1. Uh, and the extra 4% comes from this set right here, obviously. I don't know what we're talking about. Two pieces. Don't look at that. And yeah, crit rate from this one and this point does make this team actually work for Akron because obviously we only have one Nihility. And as for Zhao, 150 effect hit rate, his light cone, I put him on the passerby set because he only went twice per turn and I wanted the extra skill point. I don't know how much it actually made a difference, but yeah, this E1 absolutely crazy. I'm going to be, I need to unlock this. I don't know why I haven't unlocked this yet, to be honest. I, I'm stupid. Uh, Yunli, 135 on her light cone for the extra taunt, which is very important. Unless you're using Moe's, I guess. And as for the rest of it, oh, look. Two out of five. Usually I don't, my relic luck, one entire year of Star Rail was absolutely abysmal. And then in the last one month, I rolled all my best pieces. Uh, it's, luck really does reverse itself. But yeah, that Yunli E1 also needs to be activated. To be honest, all my characters are, you know, unlocked. I guess Yang Cheng and Clara except. So it is quite interesting that this team just happens to have all three characters that I have not unlocked their Eidolons yet. But you know what? That's all we have for this video. Thanks for sticking around if you have stuck around. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Before I go. I'll be going now. Adios.